It's just showing you just now all the, uh, how the rubber comes out of the trees now. If you look around the way out there, for as far as you can see, they've got them in like, avenues. You can see the line there, like orchard, typically. And we'll turn around, there's another one at this side. The whole area is surrounded by these avenues of rubber trees. So you can imagine, there's, I don't know, I mean, uh, 20,000 trees in this one area alone. There's delivery, they're about six feet apart. And uh, lo a lot of rubber coming out here, that's for sure. So interesting stuff. I hope you like it. Now we're going up to our area, we've got a bit of land up here and um, we've got, well, 500, 500 uh, coconut trees. I don't know if there's 500 left though, some of them didn't survive. My wife thinks there's 300. If there's 300, I'm going to count them. There's also uh, bananas and a few other things up here. And I've got somebody coming to think, somebody coming to rescue me. Think, I think I've got lost, look, it's my sister-in-law. Charlie, man, it's a thing I've got lost, but I'm actually just telling the story about rubber, so I'll catch up, ladies. On you go. I can walk. I've got legs. On you go. I'll catch up. Can you walk? Yeah, of course I'll walk. I'm enjoying it. It's lovely. I've got sun and shade here. I know it's far. I've walked it before several times. Carry on. Okay. Catch up. I'll be in five minutes. Anyway, as I was saying, as I was saying, rubber trees, look, everywhere. We've got, so we're going up to see the, the coconut trees. We've got some bananas. I think we're planting some more stuff today. Um, can't remember the name of the fruits, but it starts with a D. And it, and it stinks. It tastes okay, but I can smell of it. It'll knock you sick. However, some people like it, and it seems to go down well in the Philippines here. So we'll plant them anyway and see what happens. Our coconuts were planted three years ago. Well, maybe three and a half years ago. And they say it takes about six years for them to grow tall enough, I don't know, maybe maybe about six metres to then bear fruit and yeah, you can get 150 coconuts in one bunch if you like, that's what they're called uh, every time and you know they, they bear fruit every three months so if 300 trees times 150 do your sums, it's quite a few thousand and uh, every three months I'll take that Who's going to climb the trees and get the coconuts off? Well, that's another story. I've got a couple of brother-in-laws, young lads. They're up the trees like monkeys and they're used to it. And uh, so I'll have to pay them to do that when the time's right. So we're in the open countryside now. It's just, there's somebody with a chainsaw, but it's just, uh, it's just magic. It's like, I don't know, it's about 30, 30 degrees, 32 degrees. And it's now uh, 2 p.m. in the afternoon. There's not a soul about, it's only me, and it's fucking magic. The family's up further ahead, but I'll catch them in a few minutes. Now there's mango trees, there's a mango tree there. Everywhere there's a mango tree just above you there. Uh, I don't think there's much fruit on that at the moment. Plenty of mangoes, there's mangoes everywhere, and we've got them round about our house, and you hear them falling off the trees in the middle of the night, banging on the roof. So people will pick them up in the morning and eat them, and such like that. Yeah. Same with the bananas. It's, I've never had so many bananas and bangos and coconuts in my life in the last few months, the last couple of years I've been here. But I suppose it's all pretty healthy stuff, you know? So, can you know, this, this view is taking some beating. It's just fantastic. Oh, it's lovely. There's all sorts of uh, things going on. A few cows, well, they call them carabao. Um, I like your Aberdeen Angus, you know. So I'll sign off now and I'll, I'll catch up with you when I'm up at the top of the hill. It's about half a mile. See you later.